today I am going to do a weekend vlog. I originally started this out as an idea. It's gonna be like a day in a life. And I was just running through like what my day consists of. I was like, my day is really boring. And no one wants to see that. No one wants to waste their time seeing boring stuff. The kids are gonna be in school and I will be studying. I might go grocery shopping. I might do some gym stuff, but really nothing cool happens until the kids come home. I might clean up a little bit if I feel like it. I don't. <laughs> but I thought, instead of just making this a day in my life, because I, as I ran through what today was going to be, it was, like I said, it wasn't going to be very much. It was going to be kind of boring. So I didn't want to put you guys through that. So it's going to be a weekly vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy it. First things first, it is already 6.04 in the morning. My son has been up since 5.05 in the morning. He's a very early riser. He's a freshman in high school. So he's kind of like on his own. He does him. He gets up. He washes up. He gets dressed. And I think he gets up that early because he likes to do like one or two of his chores that he can knock out, whether it be putting the dishes away from the dishwasher or um, taking out the trash and stuff like that. And then he takes the rest of the time until about 6.30 we get ready to leave out of the house. And then that, so between whatever time he gets dressed and does everything he needs to do, um, then he just hangs out and go like, I mean, it's his free time. I let him do whatever, not whatever he wants, but I let him do to an extent, as long as he's showing me that he is being responsible. That's the word I was looking for, responsible. Then I kind of just let him kind of have free reign. I do try to keep an eye on what he is watching and what he isn't. But at this point, I would hope that as a parent, that we have taught him what is acceptable or what's okay and what's not okay and we'd hope that he would use those boundaries that we set don't get me wrong he is a teenager he will probably push those boundaries and we deal with that as it comes but yeah so i'm about to go wake up mia mia so get up baby good morning Good morning. Leo comes and tells her good morning every morning. Why? Don't let me Oh, sorry, sorry. Don't look at that. Say good morning, YouTube. That part out. Yeah, we'll edit that part out. The blur it out. Yeah. Say good morning. Good morning. What grade are you in? Third. What's today? Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. All right, so she's going to get dressed and washed up. She took a bath last night, so. She's good to go. Um, and today she has PE, which is so much fun. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right. Peace. All right, so Mia is now in the process of waking up. She's pretty independent, which is great. I mean, they're, they're I mean, she's a third grader. Um, she knows what the expectation is. She gets up in the morning most days. Sometimes she'll kind of like, when I walk out of the room, she'll walk back, she'll like lay back down. And I think her intent is just to lay there for a second and then get back up, but then you know how that works out. She is like me, she's not a morning person. If her dad is home, she, and cause Renee's the same way, he gets up really early in the morning, like even on the weekends. Um, like, well, on the weekdays he leaves to work like at, I think he's out of here by like 4 a.m. And then on the weekends, he'll sleep in till like six o'clock in the morning. And then after that, he, he can't sleep anymore. Like you can hear him right around 5.30, he's kind of like wrestling around in bed, like trying to go back to sleep, but he can't. And so at 6 a.m. he is usually up and he'll go downstairs. And if she knows that he's home and that he's downstairs, it doesn't matter what time she went to bed at, she has to be like right next to him. She is like his little shadow. Anytime he is home, she has to be like right next to him. And so even though she's not a morning person at all, when her dad is home, she makes herself a morning person. So she's getting ready right now. I'm about to put something on this face to look a little bit more presentable. So, hot mess, and less of a hot mess. Still a hot mess, just not as bad. All right, let's go check on the kids. I don't know what is wrong with this cat. What is wrong with you, Leo? What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's the most unluckiest day on earth. <laughs> you don't like it when I vlog? No. Um, it's Friday 13th. 
Oh my god, why did you even say that? <laughs> bad don't, luck is two days. Don't not, talk about it. It's not bad luck if you say it. Is that, it's just stop. <laughs> Alright, go get in the car. <laughs> okay. It's so foggy. Yeah, in your defense, it is a little bit scary. It's like the worst day as well. Stop! Stop trying to scare me. It's like super foggy out. Oh, this is not good lighting for me. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Hey, yeah. for me. Oh, then there's that little, little one right there. Alright, let's go drop them off. Hey, and don't slam the doors. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't know your own strength. <laughs> Got it, bro. Love you. Have a good day. You have your key, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be out. I'm living my life. <laughs> did you take your lunch? You got your lunch? Yeah. What all did you put in there? Um, I put some chips and some fruit. Okay, I love you. Be careful! What? Careful! Let's move, baby. I'm so scared to slap. All right, so it is 7.30. I am dropping off Mia at school. She's in the front seat only because we stay in the neighborhood. It's just, it's like, it's just like within the neighborhood, um, but it's still like a little bit of a distance. Sometimes we will ride our bikes there and stuff like that, but it's been a minute since we've done that. So, but whenever we drive in the neighborhood, I let her sit in the front seat. So. When we go to our neighborhood pool. Yep. And when we. Then she takes me to school. Even mm -hmm. Daddy does that. Yeah, only only if we're in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So don't yell at me. <laughs> okay, so we're about to leave the house close to my school. And today is I can't yeah. say it it because that word is bearing from the basket's house. We said it earlier, so they know what day it is. Yeah. Super excited to go to school because we're going to school really early. So I guess to go on the playground. Oh, that's much more better. That way you guys can't see my wrinkles. I'm not wrinkles. What? <laughs> I meant to say, what's going to get black? <laughs> I meant to say wrinkles, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Why were you telling me sorry? I don't have wrinkles. Originally I went there to get, they had like this Shopkins pack and it was like a Shopkins like grab bag. You didn't know what was in each bag. It was like 30 of them and you open it up and you got a surprise Shopkin. And I was going to use that as an incentive for Mia. We're doing a reward system. They didn't have any of those, but they did have this. It's World Vacation. Yes. And so instead of giving her, I'm not gonna give her the whole thing, duh. But every time she has a good report or she has something like at the end of the week, she has certain things that she has to do and stay on task for. Every time she does a, a solid week of that, um, then I will give her one of these rewards. And if she does something super amazing, then I will give her uh, this Shopee. one right here, this, this whole Shopee. But it's just a reward system. So it's just like, an ooh, the lighting in here, girl, yes. Let's do this. <laughs> so the, the idea behind the reward system, I know that some people are for them and some are against them. I kind of go back and forth. I do feel like if you are, we have certain expectations. We expect you to do well in school. We expect you to try, or not try. We expect you to do your best. When we say try, it sets your, yourself up for failure. But when you say do your best, then you're doing it. You're not trying because you're doing it. You're actually doing it. So I had to sit down and get my like tripod and sit down for this. 
So I'm going to kind of jump on my soapbox a little bit. So yes, I do agree that you have certain responsibilities and you need to do them. But I do believe in positive reinforcement and rewarding those positive re reinforcements. And the best way that I can describe it as I was thinking about how I was going to present this is that as grown-ups, as adults, we go to work, we work hard, we make money. That's our incentive to go to work. If we weren't getting paid, then we, there would be no reason for us to go to, the, to that job. We wouldn't want to, we wouldn't care, we weren't getting anything out of it. So as adults, our incentive to keep going to work is for the money that helps us pay for the bills, that helps us pay for the roof over our head, or whatever lifestyle that we like. Ideally, <laughs> if you're in a great situation, then it pays for your lifestyle and then some, or you know, um, but it might just pay for your roof over your head. But either way, you go to work to earn money. And sometimes I feel like kids need something tangible. At their age, their mind isn't able to grasp or wrap around that whole idea of I'm doing really good in school, but what is it for, you know? And so, yes, at a young age, like, I do try to instill, like, morals and values and stuff in them, but I also like to try to reward them and have give them something to work for. Because if they don't have anything to work for or towards, then what's the point, right? And I know that that's kind of sad. We live in a world right now that, you know, we kind of give every kid a trophy or, um, and I know some people are going to like maybe hate or give black backlash on it and stuff like that, but um, we, we kind of tend to live in a world where every kid is rewarded just for like sitting the way they're supposed to, but we don't know how each kid works and what works for them and maybe they're struggling in that. Maybe they were struggling in that because they never learned that behavior or um, that expectation and kids don't know until they learn and so if you learn something and it's in a positive way and in a positive environment then then yes I think that there should be a reward for it um, to an extent you know um, we, we try not to overindulge or, or spoil our kids um, to the, I mean, to the best that we can. Um, any toys that the kids have, they've either bought it with their own money or it was like the birthday or Christmas. We don't just buy toys for them or gifts for them just to give it to them. There's always something for it. So like the thumbnail is probably gonna say something like, are we spoiling our kids? But um, honestly, like they work really hard. There's consequences if they aren't meeting their expectation, if they lose something or break something, they're responsible to do the best they can at that age to try to come up with the money or work for the money to replace that item. She doesn't get paid to do her chores. Um, that is what an expectation is that we have is that you work really hard and you do your chores and you do your best. I know that as parents we sometimes struggle and um, and like are we giving them too much? Are we not giving them enough? Are we making them work too hard? Um, these are just things that I've done that I feel like have worked really well with us. And um, I've seen results, not only just with my kids, but when I've worked in the school and giving them, giving my students something to work for. So, that's it. Um, I definitely, I could go on for days and days. If you guys want me to do like a video on positive reinforcement or consequences or just things like that and like discipline, um, things that we do in our home or just in general that and again I am not an expert at all like trust me I am not an expert but if you sometimes I feel like when we hear other moms talk about stuff like that it kind of helps us out so if you're interested in a video like that or if you have any questions whatever um, just comment down below I you guys don't see on here like if I discipline my children because that's not something that I feel needs to be put out there um, and I don't go into too much detail about my kids and their specific, like if there's a specific situation, just because I do want to be respectful of their privacy. They are still young. Like yes, I put stuff on YouTube and yes, they enjoy being on YouTube. My youngest enjoys being on YouTube way more than my oldest. And I try to respect his boundaries and what he likes and what he doesn't like. Obvious, for obvious reasons or whatever, he doesn't want to be on camera all the time. And I totally respect it and I totally get it. My husband, same thing. He doesn't always want to be on camera, and I totally respect it, and I totally get it. The days that they want to be on camera or the situations where they want to be on camera, I put them on camera. But the things that they don't want, then I don't. And it's just being respectful of people's boundaries. So, done for sure this time. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys 
that little thing in my little Costco haul. We, I mean, I picked up other things at Costco, duh, because it's Costco. You go, it's like Target. You go in for like one thing and you get a bunch of things. <sighs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah, get it, get it. We're getting ready to go for an evening walk. Josh doesn't have his glow sticks on, but he is going to participate with his glow sticks right over there. And then Callie's got some glow sticks on, so she could be singing at night. I found Sandy, the girl. She's in that football hat. Okay, now let's go, mommy. Let's go. Hurry, hurry. Come on. Can I just go? I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mission accomplished. I found Sandy, the squirrel. Look at him. These little pumpkin shapes. Oh, that, those are cool pastas. Uh, and I got a lot of pumpkin. Okay, but they're not squash. But they're not squash. You should try it. Mm -hmm. Why not, right? So we're on the, so we're on a pumpkin hunt. Looking for stuff. I didn't see it. star punk, pumpkin stuff. Oh, whoop. This is what we came for. Pumpkin roll. Yeah, I just pulled up and guess what? What? Daddy's home. Woo! <laughs> Daddy's home! Woo! All right, we just came back from the pumpkin patch and from where? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. What's that? Do you think we should do a haul, Mia? Yeah. Let's do a haul. Ready, set, go. All right, so this is, this is just a water bottle. But this is my Trader Joe haul. I'm not gonna go over everything in detail of what I got from Trader Joe's because a lot of this is for a pumpkin tasting thing that um, Renee and the kids and I are hopefully gonna do later on today. But I'll give you a little sneak peek of everything we got. All right. So if you wanna see and know about everything we got that's pumpkin wise, let me know. Side note, this is not, or not let me know. Watch the video that's gonna be after this video, like the following week or something. Side note. This vegetable fried rice is the bomb. Just finished doing okay. a fun little taste test, and that's gonna be our next video coming up, so make sure that you guys are looking out for that. When you just started not vlogging, and you have to set up lighting. This is our current setup situation. <laughs> Sunday, fun day. Josh is still asleep. Um, Renee, Mia, and I are gonna go grab lunch. It is already like 11.40 or close to it, right? Yeah. Um, I took a test this morning, so that's why we're just getting out. Renee already worked out with his friend. And Sunday, so we're just going to take it easy. Thank you. So you guys. Be careful, don't get crazy with it. <laughs> She's trying. This is food. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
Don't be scared. Kelly's watching me and making sure she's safe. <laughs> she told that boy to stop shaking the thing.